Hey, uh, so what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in this Django tutorial series. And in our last video, we discussed all of the user permissions and their level of permissions that a certain user gets to do to perform certain actions. So before proceeding to this video, let's just push all our, you know, code to GitHub first. Git add, okay. So now we'll do git add git commit and we'll say permissions git push origin master so if we run into any problems we can always check our previous commit and then try to get the previous code back so uh in this video we are going to create a new model inside uh movie review main models.py and this time it's going to be movie review so we already have a movie model and we need a movie review model so let's just create a movie review class or let's just say we'll, we'll just name it review instead and we'll say models.model and it should be designed in such a way that it should be linked with this class because we want the user to let's say Okay, uh, let's pass and then run the module, the server, and then I'll explain you what I'm going to do. So over here, so we need to have a review for each of the movies. So the Dark Knight should have, a, should have his own, its own review, Jojo Rabbit should have its own review, and so for the 1917. So that how that works is by classifying a foreign key. So a field over here let's say we'll specify a movie so the field this will specify which movie are we talking about so it's gonna be models dot foreign key and the name of the model is movie and on delete so this is like if you delete the movie model let's say if you delete the dark net what do you want to do of the comments I mean of the reviews in the dark net we'll just do models dot cascade so it's going to delete everything and we need the user user is going to be whoever posted it it's also going to be foreign key and it's going to be user on delete models dot cascade let's import users from django dot contrib sorry dot auth dot models import user and then of course we need to have the you know comment we'll just say review as a comment and we'll just say models dot text field and then we'll give it a max length of 1000 we need to have a rating and models float field and default is going to be zero and then uh, we'll just provide a string so as to print you know the name and we'll just do return self dot user dot username okay so after you're done creating a model we have to register it in the admin panel we'll do by admin dot site dot register and then we'll do review and after we have made changes to the database you know what to do manage.py run migrations sorry it's make migrations and as you see it has detected a new model and we'll migrate and then we'll run server to make sure everything went smoothly so let's go to 127 admin we'll log in as an admin and then there we go here are the reviews and let me show you how it works we'll do add review and movie it's going to get from the movies that we had in the movie model so uh, let's add a review for jojo rabbit and we are logged in as admin and the comment is this was a fantastic movie and i want to give it a rating of eight save it so here it goes this is a rating for jojo rabbit and likewise we can add reviews for all the movies that have been added 
So uh, that was it for this portion of the video. We just learned how to create another model and link it, link it with all the models that we already have. And in our next video, we will discuss about how to add reviews through our HTML forms. Until then, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.